All right, so this next video is all about angle theorems. Okay, it's important to know that a triangle, all three angles in a triangle will add to 180 degrees. For example, in this triangle, if we add all of these angles together, we have 80 plus 60 plus 40, that sum is 180. So all the angles, no matter the triangle, all three angles will add to 180 degrees. That's the first thing to know when working with um, different angle theorems. Other tidbits that are useful, and will be especially, especially useful for you when you are on your quiz, is to know that a triangle can have one, two, or can have up to three acute angles. Um, so for example, this one, all three angles are acute. A triangle can have one obtuse angle and if it's obtuse, as in this one, which is 95 degrees, so that makes it obtuse because it's larger than 90, then these two angles have to be acute. They cannot be, you can't, no triangle can have two obtuse angles. Um, and if it has an obtuse angle, then one of the other triangles cannot be a right triangle or measure 90 degrees. Okay, and then if you have a right triangle, which I don't have one here as an example, but if you have a right triangle, then the two other angles also have to be acute. So you can have three acute angles, or you can have an obtuse and two acute, or a right angle and two acute angles. That, those are your only options, okay? All three acute or two acute with either an obtuse or a right angle. Okay, so given that, let's go through some examples of questions you'll see on your quiz. So you might be given a triangle like this and asked to find the value of x. So we need to add all of our angles, our two given angles together. 95 plus 57 plus x, and we set that equal to 180 degrees. So this is just a, um, a linear equation that we get to solve. So we're gonna add 95 plus 57 Let's see now, 95, 90 plus 50 is 140, 147, 152. You might wanna check my math and make sure I am actually adding these correctly, but I do believe 152, and now we will subtract 152 from 180 to solve for x. Looks like x equals 28 degrees. So this little angle is 28 degrees. Okay, um, another example, you might be given one like this. Uh, hopefully you can see that this is a 54 degrees and then we have a Y and a Y. And you're asked to find the value of Y, that means you add all of these together and set it equal to 180. So 54, plus y plus y equals 180. Okay, two y's added together is two y. Okay, and now we go about solving for y, so we will subtract 54 over from 180. So two y equals 126, okay, so 2y equals 126, divide by 2 to get the value of y, which is 63. So these, both of these angles are 63 degrees. Okay. So these are two examples that you might see. A third example is very similar to these prior two, so you have a variable, but in this case, we also have a variable plus a constant. So we're gonna add all of these together. I'm going to erase this and give myself a little more room here. So we're gonna say 40, whoops, forgot my zero, 40 plus y plus y plus 30. And so we have 40 plus y plus y plus 30, equals 180, and now we need to add all of our like terms together. So 40 plus 30 is 70. 
y plus y is 2y. And we will go about just like we did on these prior examples and solve for y. So I'll subtract 70. 2y equals 110. And now I divide by 2. y equals 55. So y is 55 degrees. So we have a 40 degree angle, a 55 degree angle, and a 55 plus 30, which is 85 degree angle. These are a few examples that you will see on your quiz. Okay, here are a couple other examples. So you might be given two triangles where you have a th the third angle of each triangle missing and asked to determine what you can say about P and Q. So <clears throat> it's important then to actually find out what is P equal to and what, what is Q equal to. So I'm going to add 60 plus 30. I'm going to add P to that and set it equal to 180 and solve for P. So 60 plus 30 is 90. Subtract 90 from both sides. And P equals 90. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for Q. I'm going to solve for Q now. I'm going to say 45 plus 45 plus Q equals 180. So 90 plus Q equals 180. Subtract 90. And hopefully your brain is already clicking into gear because we had this almost identical situation where we had 90 plus P equals 180. 90 plus Q equals 180. So, hmm, gee, I wonder what Q equals, right? Q is equal to 90. So what we can say about both P and Q is that they are equal to one another. P equals Q or Q equals P. They mean the same thing. Okay, so you might be given something similar to that, but a little bit different. So here we have a triangle with a 60 degree angle, an angle marked A, and an angle with x. And in this triangle, we have 40, y, and b. So we're asked to determine what we can say about both a and b. Well, I only have one known angle. The other two in each triangle are variables. That is not enough information to find out what a is equal to. And I don't have enough information to find out what B is equal to, so that we cannot determine anything about them. So we can, we just have to say there's not enough information or cannot be determined. One of those two statements, one of those two statements is what you will find, okay? So it cannot be determined or there's not enough information. So these are all about angle theorems. Just remember 180 degrees, all three add to. Um, only three acute angles in a triangle, or if it's a right or obtuse angle, then the other two are acute. There is a reason why I keep repeating that statement. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any other questions.